Hey guys, it's Nimbra. Some of you may already know, but some of you might not know. I got a couple of new pets. You might be able to guess what they are. I haven't talked about getting these before in any of my videos or anything, so I'm probably going to blank it out so you can't see what it is. It's like a guessing game. I've thought about getting these for a little while now, and I decided to get them yesterday. I went to the store. I'll just show you guys first. There's my little tortoises. I think he's still sleepy. He's just been sitting there like for ages. This guy's been moving about. Because it's just turned the lights on maybe like 25, 30 minutes ago. So I'll tell you a story. On Friday, I decided, okay, I'm gonna go get a couple of tortoises from the pet store. I already contacted the reptile place and asked for pricings and stuff on how much they are in the setup is. Me and my brother Robbie were waiting about whenever my mum got home. We went out to the car and then I said I'm gonna get a couple of tortoises and she was just saying no you're not and then I was saying I was gonna get them and she was saying well, I wasn't and she asked me she said to ask my dad first. So then whenever my dad got home later on I went downstairs and then my dad said to me he believes I was gonna think of getting a tortoise. And then I said, yeah. And then I said, Is it that, if that's okay with you. And then he said, yeah, I like tortoises. He was pretty cool up front with it. Saying, yes, it's, 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 it's okay if I get I went down on the Saturday next day. I went into the store and asked about getting a couple of tortoises. He showed me them and let me hold a couple of different types of tortoises. I'm a tortoise, um, I want you to need a tortoise. I said, yeah, I'll get them. Talk for a couple of minutes. And then he says that he'll have the setup all done for tomorrow. I was thinking to myself, well, I can't get it today. I wasn't thinking, but I should have said that I can just it myself. I was off on the Saturday, so that, that was why it was a good day to go and get them. And yesterday was Sunday. Today's Monday. But I'm off, I'm off work today as well. So I went down on Sunday with my mum. We were talking for a bit and then the guy opened the cage and let me open it and there was loads of different tortoises. Should have recorded that but I didn't. I was picking different tortoises out, choosing my couple of tortoises. I got two Herman, Herman tortoises. I said something like, you can't really tell the difference between the male and females until they're grown a bit. The guy said you can just sort of judge and then he thought that one of them I picked was male and female so Hopefully that's it, because I'd like a male and female. We talked for a bit, I got information from him, told him what to feed them, different things, how long to turn the lights on for each day. I've got this stuff to feed them, which I will show you uh, shortly. Oh yeah, uh, I took so like a few pictures of when I got them, like just brief pictures, not very good quality pictures of them. These boxes, I got them in these boxes to bring them home. And then I got these legal document things. It tells you different stuff about them, like their age and stuff. But I haven't actually read these yet. Scientific name, it's a Testudo Hermit, Hermeny tortoise. The guy was saying these are just like, I know, so if I ever wanted to sell them, I can sell them without like these. This is a big thing with the uh, people like taking tortoises and stuff or whatever so these like prove that they're I own them. Got like little pictures of them. Well veggie destroyer. Eat your veggies. Alright so I'm gonna show you my setup. So I got this brown vivarium. It has the light socket there for the heat. Uh, one there for the UVB. It's got a little air vent there, sort of thing. And there. And there also. First off, I got this soil. It's tortoise like, a blend of substance to simulate your tortoise's natural habitat. Mediterranean. Uh, different substances. 
the guy in the store was saying it's okay if they eat this dirt because it's good for them. It's got all the minerals and stuff. Got this basking spot lamp, 40 watt. Prices on them. This is pro wrap as well, if you're wondering. We've got the reptile UVB, 13 watt, 100. UVB, 150. The desert UVB. Desert UVB. Exoterra. That little hut you see, it's a Haba hut. It's a Zumed. That's this little thing here where the little tortoises can go and hide. I'm sorry I'm taking your little hut away. Yeah, it's just a little bit of wood. Oh. There you go. Yeah, the hut back. You got your little dirty hands. You got dirty hands, little guy? You need clean? And your little dirt and crawl about. You're even more dirty. I like digging in the dirt. I like to dig. I'll put you back too. There you go. This is what I'm using for putting their stuff on. And I'll do. I've got this calci dust. Calci dust. I'm supposed to pour a little bit over their food each time. It gives them calcium substance for their bone structure. A bit like calcium is good for us. And there is this stuff here. Sepia bone. They'll nibble on that. Because their beak grows. It grows and grows. If they aren't like chewing on something hard. In the wild they would like eat stuff and it, it would wear down their beak. Calcium dust. Oh. <sighs> Sprinkle some of this over. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Helps their beak not overgrow. I've heard in cases people have had to snip their beak and it's not a pleasant thing to do. Nom nom nom. Crunch, 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 crunch. See these red marks here? They're there. Uh, well, he's got a red mark at the front. They're all different, and the other ones had numbers on them. That was just to tell the difference between them all. Right, he's got a red dot there. And it's just the underbelly. All their underbelly are different. Sucker fingerprints. Looks like that. There's that red dot up there. Came up and cleaned that. Give it new water. I came up and this guy started chewing on the bone thing. If you have tortoises or you know about tortoises, you already know. But this is the heat lamp. This is where they come whenever they want to warm up. It's like the sun, and this is like a shade. It's a lot more hotter over there. That's the UVB, which is basically like sunlight rays. This habitat is called Viv Exotic. It's in there, so they can't get out. Well, not that they could. Okay, guys, so it's a couple of days later now. Yesterday what I got is, if you don't follow my uh, Instagram for my turtles and tortoises, you wouldn't have seen this, but if you do, then you would have. I got one of these, so you can't open it from the outside. It doesn't open. And even if you get that there, yeah, it keeps it locked. I also bought this with it. It's a botanical mix. Told this should only really be feeding this maybe like once a week. Because once they get a taste for it, they'll always want this. I fed them yesterday some peppers, which I'm feeding now, and cabbage. I'm feeding them some mixed lettuce and peppers now. Over there in that corner, there's like a big hole. That's where they have been sleeping at night time. Last night they maybe slept about 10 o'clock, between 10 and 11, and then I switched the light out about 12. So that's it. I think that's everything. I just wanted to add this on the video. I will be very soon adding maybe little plants and stuff in there inside there because it's a little bit plain at the minute as you see. 
They've got a hardy log, which they would sometimes go in there. They really like digging in the dirt, so I might get some kind of like leaves or moss they can sort of burrow in. Brought them outside yesterday for the first time, and then they, they enjoyed that. Oh yeah, I thought of names for them. It's gonna be Herman and Lily. That's Herman, and that's Lily. Lily is the smaller one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Um, yeah. Let me know if you want to make me make more videos and stuff of my turtles, tortoises, anything. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video, and um, peace. Oh yeah, one more thing I never got the same earlier in the video. That day I got these while I was on work. I literally, I got home, I literally had like 15 minutes to set this thing up and go to work. So that wasn't fun, so I had to quickly bring it upstairs, put it here, plug it in, put screw the lights in. I had to like unbox everything from the boxes, get the lights out of the boxes, put them in, get the soil, put it all in, quickly bat it all out, and then put the log for them to sort of hide if they want. Water bowl, I put the water in the water bowl. So yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Nimra time, come on, grab your games. We'll play all day and beat some bum with Shy the Cat and Josh the Turtle. The fun will never die.